See? I told you I was taller than him. But you got your hat on and you're standing on a book. So that that makes the difference. I'm gonna be standing <laughs> up. <laughs> what you get? I'm oh. gonna be standing on something Hello? else. <laughs> Hello? Hello, Elvis fans. Welcome to our channel, Elvis Fans Matter. We're having a little discussion. Well, we were wondering if Billy could borrow his suit for <laughs> for the kids for Christmas. <laughs> I, I was. <laughs> but I don't... Now, I can think... you see Santa running around naked? <laughs> I, I won't even go there. <laughs> I, um, I think it's going to be a little too big for you. I don't know. I tell you what's gonna be too big for you. Billy takes all kind of short jokes. <laughs> oh, like you. It's starting to look like Christmas. It's starting to be Christmas. Yeah, we uh, we're doing a Christmas uh thing issue. Hey, buddy. How the hell? I mean, yeah. How the hell are you? We um, <laughs> we thought we would tell a little bit about how we how it was for us at Graceland. And what Elvis did, what we did a week or so before, and what what came about when he, you know, usually uh, it, it would be Christmas Eve, we would go up there kind of early, about what, six or seven, something like that, mm -hmm. or go out into the house. He would come down some sometimes <laughs> if he wanted to, but usually we, everybody would have their presents that we had gotten for him and we would take him into the dining room. Mm -hmm. Except the last year, we bought him for Christmas, uh, Billy and I bought him um, lazy New boy. La lazy boy recliner. La yeah, recliner lounger. Yeah. And so we had to take it in a little early and take it upstairs. But um, what usually came about is everybody would just gather around them in the dining room and he would open up presents and say, you know, and, and people, nobody act, especially would get anything expensive because, I mean, you know, he had everything in the world, but a lot of times they would, and, and a lot of times the guys would get together and have special things made for him, like, you know, I know Marty and all y'all did a lot of years like that, made had special things. But I remember this one time that Red got him a humongous piece of... Uh, a huge, huge. I guess it was as long as that, longer than that coffee table, a, a loaf of bread, a French bread, a big old loaf of bread. And he thought that was hilarious. So just anything like that. I mean, he might get something that was so silly till it was pitiful. But um, he would open up every gift anybody, any of the guys got him. He'd he'd stay in there and open up the gifts and make comments about them. So you do if you got your feelings hurt easy, you, you might not want to be, because <laughs> there's no telling what he would say. <laughs> well, <laughs> I think one of my most rememberable Christmases was in 1965. Uh, it actually went to snowing New Year's Eve, and. It hadn't, I think it said it had been 50 years or something since it had snowed on, on Christmas Eve. And, uh, I know it, it, it was beautiful, you know, a guy like that. Uh, but anyway, I was, we watched it snow for a while and <clears throat> he, he told everybody, uh, don't go out on the lawn. He said, you know, I don't want footprints or anything <laughs> else out there, so uh, don't go out now. Y'all don't go outside in the lawn. And so after it got real white, uh, we kind of walked down to the curb where it forks and just looked at it. And boy, it was pretty. He said, man, this is so pretty don't you know, y'all think I said I think so and he said man me too he said I, I've always liked snow and he said you know he said uh, 
I thought I'd got enough of it while I was in Germany. He said, but you, you never get enough of snow. It's no. beautiful. And, you know. So we walked back up, and that's when we went to opening the presents and different things like that. And, uh, just, just his look uh, on his face, you know, the, it, and he, he went to clowning around. He said, see, I told y'all I could do it. <laughs> uh, make it snow on Christmas. <laughs> and we all kind of laughed. Then we went to open the presents, you know, and stuff like that. And it, it, it was always that way. It was just, you know, just a, a lot of fun and something new just about every, every Christmas. Uh, that's one of the years that I can't remember us actually firing fireworks uh, that year. Uh, if we did, I certainly don't remember it, but because everything else was so pretty and all. And, but uh, that was one of my more, you know, uh, memorable ones. Uh, of course, all of them were special. Uh, yeah, they were. And the other one, of course, was 57 because, you know, he had it decorated and uh, his first Christmas artificial day. tree. And, you know, uh, I had, you know, I'd never seen anything quite like that, you know, up until that, that point except uh, on Audubon Drive. But it wasn't near as pretty as uh, Grounds. Christmas at Graceland, you know. and. Uh, that was just a, I can't tell you, just magical, <laughs> magical, yeah, magical uh, feeling, you know, and, and to be uh, 14 years old and, and see all this, you know, uh, it was, golly, just an extraordinary feeling mm -hmm. for me, and we just, uh, like I say, we always had fun at Christmas time. Most of the time we, you know, do certain routines. We, you know, open the presents and cuss each other. No, no, we didn't do that. But, <laughs> <laughs> but we, would, we would go from there, you know, and we'd get into our fireworks, yeah. you know, battles. and uh, uh, he times. Tried, I don't know, several times he, he tried to burn the office down. <laughs> blow up my car or something, you know. I, I don't know what it was in my cars, but he just, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Most of the time, though, he would like New Year's Eve to, oh, yeah, to yeah. really go, he, he you know, like I mean, Eve. they yeah. had some Christmas. battles with yeah. fireworks on New Year's Eve. I can remember, I can just see him coming down the back stairs into the kitchen, and he would have a stack of little envelopes about that thick mm -hmm. and he would start giving out calling you know telling everybody here's this is for you this is for you because he always gave out Christmas bonuses and then he would give out um, little personal things I remember one year he came down and um, <laughs> this I thought George Klein was gonna have a heart attack mm -hmm. he gave out um, little certificates. He said, I hope, you know, I hope you enjoy this. He, he, he said, used that phrase, you know. Uh-huh. You know, this year's been a tough year. This year Things has been a little been tougher than every and, year, but and, I hope uh, you enjoy this. <laughs> and it, and it, so he handed them all out, had everybody's name on it. He handed those out first. And when, when you opened it up, it was a McDonald's, uh, little McDonald's gift certificate. 50 cents. 50 cents back well, then. Yeah, 50 well. cents gift certificate and I mean and he acted like you know you know Merry Christmas everybody and you know I, I appreciate everything I appreciate all my gifts and uh -huh. and I hope y'all have everybody has a real Merry Christmas and then he started dying laughing he said I can just uh, see the look on some of y'all's faces <laughs> a lot of a lot of jaws dropped yeah <laughs> uh, people were, like, oh uh, thank you like, thank you Elvis <laughs> National Lampoon Christmas, you know. Yeah. 
uh, we was expecting the bonus. <coughs> the only difference was uh, we didn't kick Elvis in the butt and we didn't get napping. And, and it wasn't the Jelly Club, the month, the, <laughs> the gift of the month. <laughs> it was a McDonald's. Yeah, then he had the, um, of then, the day. <laughs> yeah, then he came out with another stack and he started giving everybody Christmas bonuses and and uh, uh, well, I don't know what he gave that year. He gave us the Christmas bonus every year, every single year that I can ever remember. He he wanted to make sure that everybody had enough to see that their families, their kids, you know, whatever. He always on top of that he gave cars and different things. I know one yeah. time, I'm not sure, I don't think this was exactly on Christmas, but it was shortly, <laughs> shortly after. He gave me this beautiful uh, yellow and gold diamond ring. It, I mean, it was beautiful and I I could not take my eyes off of it, it, it you know. And I, I had gone out shopping and I had it on and I was coming back you know, going back to Graceland, <laughs> yeah. I was driving along and I, I started looking, I, I got to looking at my ring and I, I just couldn't take my eyes off of it. <laughs> it was beautiful. And I was driving along and I happened to glance up and I was like this far from the car and I was like, <laughs> and I brakes squealed and I slid and left tire marks and everything else. And so when I got back, I was... I was telling Billy about it, and Billy told Elvis, and I thought he was going to die. He never let me live that down. I know it. He said, I, I gave Joe a diamond ring and almost cost her a life. <laughs> so I didn't realize it might kill her. You know? I didn't realize it might kill her. <laughs> but well, I did. I, I just, I was so into that that ring. It was so pretty, and I was, you know, I didn't, I just glanced, I just more look, the, but... He gave uh, a, he I said, gave where's him. mine, Elvis? And he said, you don't get one, you got Joe. <laughs> I said, gee, thanks. <laughs> no, I said, I'm just teasing. <laughs> he but did we, give you one. He gave you a beautiful one. Oh, yeah. But that wasn't for Christmas. No, that, that wasn't for Christmas. That was my birthday. That was a bribe. <laughs> huh? That was a bribe. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, too, you know, the... Uh, he called your mama. He had you go get her. Uh -huh. And we were up in his room, and uh, he told Billy, he said, go get uh, Aunt Lorraine and bring her over, bring her, bring her up to my room. He said, I want to I wanna give her something. So Billy said, okay. So he went over and picked his mother up. And, of course, she always just worshipped Elvis. And um, she came up, and Linda and Elvis and me and Billy and her were in his bedroom. And um, he said, I, I wanted to give you this. He gave her a bicentennial Bible that he had, and Linda wrote, you know, wrote out from from Elvis and Linda, and then he said, and that's not all. He said, I want you to have this, and he took the it was a twenty dollar gold piece with diamonds all around it. It was the one that the hotel in, in Vegas had given him for. Uh, attendance record. A, a for the most attendance record yeah. or something for most. What That was one of the many gifts. Yeah, that was one of the many gifts they gave him. It was gold, 14 karat gold. And, and then the, and he gave that to Billy's mother. And she, she just, she cherished it. Yeah, she, she just cherished it. Broke down, cried. Yeah, she did. And, you know, and he said, well, ain't no rain. He said, you know, he said. You was you were there way you back there then, and and you've stayed in our family, and uh, just to let you know that you know that I might forget you sometimes because I don't see you as much as I do uh, Billy and the other people, but I just wanted you to know that uh, that I do love you. Yeah. So. He also, after Billy's daddy passed away, of course, Billy's daddy and Elvis were real close mm -hmm. and um after billy's daddy passed away he continued to pay billy's mother well he paid your daddy while he was off and couldn't work anymore mm -hmm. after he had had a stroke and but after he passed away he continued to pay billy's mother the same salary that he paid billy's daddy which he did for a lot of the people that yeah. that worked there uh i guess some of his family mm -hmm. Not all, but some. 
That's just to show you what kind of. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He I loved mean, you Christmas. You can never talk about Elvis's generosity and not know that he was just, you know, uh, just a giving man. He loved to give and see people's reaction. Um, he 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 loved people, you know. Uh, but that's the way he was, you know. He just he he gave from the heart, and that was it. And you couldn't uh, you, you couldn't be ask careful. for a better present than that one. He gave from yeah, the heart, regardless yeah. of what he gave. You. His time, his I mean, you know, to think that you know. But you had to. He be... took the time, as Elvis Presley, to actually uh, give to other people, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, and not just to people around him. He gave to you know, yeah, strangers, complete strangers, and all. He just uh, he was just uh, his his the great fascinating human being. Boy, that's all about all you say about him. Mm -hmm. he, you know. he loved though to think of somebody that was just desperate and and maybe he would see see them out or something, and they you know he just could not resist to give them you know just have. One of the guys go over and give him the money, and then you know whatever he did that all the time. It didn't have to be Christmas. Mm -hmm. It was no. like he did Maggie and her mother mm -hmm. at the Cadillac place. Yeah. So that was the that was one of the. Um, he, she he actually hired Maggie to um, answer the phone because she was going to school and they were up at the Cadillac place just looking when when one day when we were all up there, and he bought her mother a car, hired Maggie just to answer the phone, and she could only worked at night and, and did her homework and everything. I think she went to Memphis State. It was I Memphis State so, at the yeah. time. And, I mean, that's just the way he was. Anybody that was in need, he he couldn't stand it. He had to solve it, fix it, do, you know. Yep. And on the other hand, he could be cruel at times. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's what makes a human being. That's you know, what makes right? a human being. He he was very hurt if he thought for a minute that somebody, you know, was using him or something. And like yeah. he'd say, you know, I'm not Santa Claus. I'm, yeah. you know, and and some people did. Some people, you know, would push it, but you had to be careful about that because you could just look at something and he would get it. You know, you could, it's. That's just the way he was. That's, this is true. <laughs> I wanted to show my um, grandfather clock that he bought me. A lot of people have asked me about it, and it's still ticking. And it chimes. <laughs> what happened to? Oh, that's my do that's my old doll that I got when I was eight years old for Christmas. And Billy tore all his toys up. <laughs> Not all my toys. Not all of them. He's, he's still, you, you still got I the ones Elvis. All up. You still got the ones Elvis gave you. But yeah, I got a couple. Of, well, that's some of Billy's toys, a, a couple of trucks. and. Then we have some of that Elvis had given him. Oh, well, some of them now are not mine. Not all uh, of them. Uh, one on the end over here. Yeah. And, and, uh, <laughs> I, think, <laughs> I think the rest of them are. Back like, in the uh, den. Paris. Yeah, pa and Dakota and Paris. Dakota, and yeah. uh, Joey, D Danny, Danny's train. He got. That's Danny's puppy pup train. Puppy pup train. And Billy has some. Uh, trucks that Elvis had given him that were Elvis's and a little car that's at the museum that Elvis had given Billy but uh, we'll show the little trucks another time they're back in our den but um, hope everybody has a really Merry Christmas Merry Christmas from us to y'all yes we want to wish all of you safe happy and wonderful Christmas. Yes, and I and one thing I want to say is Merry Christmas to a friend uh, that I've known for a very long time, uh, Mark and Marie Bruce in Georgia. So, and to to all of you, not all to, of you. to everybody, Merry Christmas all of and you Happy mean New so Year. Be safe, and we love every single one of you.
And remember, keep watching. Elvis we fans. All, Elvis matter. fans matter. <laughs> We're gonna have to get together on the Elvis fans uh -huh. matter. <laughs>